This is the cold and calculating teenager who raped and murdered Alicia McPhail. Aaron Campbell can finally be revealed as the 16-year-old killer after a judge ruled in favor of a campaign led by the Scottish Sun to remove his right to anonymity. Under Scott's law a convicted criminal cannot be identified until they turn 18, but such was the severity of the crime, a judge has ruled that the evil killer can be unmasked. Lord Matthew said, Parliament has provided the court with a discretion to dispense with the prohibition, he went on, I can't think of a case in recent times that has attracted such revulsion, I intend to grant the application. The press may name the accused and publish images of him, Alicia, 6, was staying with her dad and grandparents on Scotland's Isle. A viewed when Campbell, who was known to the family and lived nearby, snatched her from her bed last July. The schoolgirl suffered catastrophic sexual injuries after being raped and strangled by Campbell. In pictures and videos, the baby-faced killer masquerades as a normal boy enjoying prompt days out with friends and bouncing around on a trampoline. But the teen was hiding a thirst for blood and violence. Campbell had a twisted fascination with Slender Man, a faceless film monster that abducts kids. And as a younger teen, he killed and skinned cats, sparking fears the slangs eventually built up to murdering little Alicia. The smaller, whose girlfriend is standing by him, is understood to have tortured two moggies on Butte three years ago before burying them in his back garden. An ex-pal told the Scottish son, he was supposedly doing voodoo stuff. I was worried when I heard, I never asked him about it. I just thought it was weird. But now I could believe it, it has also emerged he allegedly sexually abused a teenage girl and showed off explicit pictures to his friends before the murder. Locals also claim he held another little girl's head under the water at a local swimming pool so long she feared she would drown. Alicia's mum Georgina Lochrane, 24, wept at court as the teenager was nailed yesterday. She was in court again today to hear the judge's ruling to name the sadistic beast. Jurors at the High Court in Glasgow found the beast guilty, the killer, drunk from a house party, stole a knife from his mum's kitchen and entered the home where he swiped Alicia from her bed. shadowy figure, was later captured on CCTV carrying a mystery object, believed to be Alicia, across the shoreline at Rothesay on the night she vanished. Once at the site of a former hotel, Campbell removed the girl's clothes and shook her, violently, as he covered her nose, mouth and neck with his hands. Alicia, who was just 3 feet 9 inches tall, suffered 117 injuries and died from forceful pressure to her neck and face, but insiders close to the case said the lad has no remorse for his depraved crime. One said, he was obsessed with gore and violence, and he was hooked on Slender Man. But he has turned this fantasy into a horrific reality, her distraught dad Robert, 26, yelled F asterisk 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 scumbag at her killer as he was led cuffed to the cells yesterday. It comes after the 16-year-old killer callously tried pinning the brutal murder on Tony McLaughlin, Robert's girlfriend. He fed jurors a pack of lies during his trial, including that Tony had framed him by planting his DNA on the youngster using a condom discarded after they apparently had sex. In over two hours of evidence he agreed in court that the schoolgirl's murder was extraordinarily evil and wicked, but denied having ever met the six-year-old. Judge Lord Matthews who presided over the case told the 16-year-old rapist the case was one of the wickedest and most evil crimes in the history of this court, he went on to describe his acts as despicable and evil, and as he slammed the ridiculous suggestion Tony was guilty, billion to one, DNA samples matching the boy were found on 14 different parts of Alicia's body, including intimate areas in her neck, face and ankles. DNA was also discovered on Alicia's shorts, pants and vest, with forensic scientist Stuart Bailey saying, traces of semen attributable to the accused were present. 
A fiber from boxing shorts later found on Rothesay Beach Beach was also discovered on Alicia's pants, as well as fibers from jogging bottoms also ditched by the killer. Alicia's mutilated and naked body was found in woods on the Isle of Butte hours later after her devastated family woke up to find she was missing. Some investigators have since claimed Campbell lacked empathy and was a serial killer in the making who would have struck again. source close to the probe said cops are certain the teen's arrest has stopped more people suffering at his hands. And they fear the violent monster would have gone on to claim even more lives if he had dodged justice yesterday. Another source added, his dad told close friends years ago his son has no empathy. He doesn't have feelings for anyone else, he was carrying a knife from first year and his mum had to go to school daily for a report on what he'd been up to. Cops probing Alicia's death trawled through the lad's phone and internet activity in the hours after his arrest on July 4, and during the search they discovered details of the fiend's bloodlust for violent video games. He will now rut behind bars instead of following ambitions of study engineering at uni and designing computer games. His mom said, my son was going to be an engineer. He wanted to design games. That would have been his dream job, he'd have had to go and do engineering. His aim was to go to university. He wanted a good job and the good things in life, she admitted the fiend was addicted to gaming. The mother added, he would lock himself away until about 2 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. He'd be up all night on that computer and sleep all day. Campbell will be sentenced on March 21st pending a psychological report regarding the teen's mental state. His name will be put on the sex offender's register indefinitely. This article originally appeared on The Sun and has been republished with permission.